All right, guys. All the pieces are together finally for the giveaway package. I'm just going to show you right now before we get into today's video. Let's take a look. As promised, of course, we got the crispy speed culture t-shirt. You know, it's good from any casual environment all the way up to any professional type of situation that you think you could come across. I mean, from car meets and car shows all the way up to, you know, uh, the business casual uh, dinner meeting with your boss. This thing is perfect. Of course, I don't want to get it messed up here. So I'm just going to put it in this uh, Christmas Ziploc bag for you to keep it all, all, uh, nice and clean <laughs> uncontaminated of course we'll get you set up with a few speed and mayhem stickers as well um i don't know if I, if you guys remember a long time ago i explained uh, the idea behind this this these this phrase here speed and mayhem limitless speed and mayhem is what we do limitless is what we are so that's the idea behind these pretty sick stickers uh really high quality and i designed them and drew that so there you go boys we'll just stick them here in the bag don't judge me on this christmas bag it's fresh fresh out of the box here's a life hack for you you go to places like target after christmas you can find boxes of ziploc bags for like i think we got these for like 18 cents a box for really about like seven of them anyway zip that up tight for you guys now here's the real deal as promised, gasket and hardware kit from Top Speed. Top Speed Performance gasket and hardware kit that's in there. And we got the test pipes all wrapped up, bubble wrap, several layers. Keep them nice and safe for you guys. I am pumped to get these sent out for real. This has been awesome. I'm super excited about all the engagement. Um, and the excitement around this giveaway. I'm, I'm really glad you guys are, are into this idea. So hopefully we can do more of these things um, going forward. Um, I got one more thing to throw in for you guys. Um, I don't know if I ever explained the idea behind the Speed Culture Studios. I'm sure you understand the Speed Culture, but the studios, what does the studios portion mean? Well, the studios comes from the fact that I like to create. I hesitate to call myself an artist. I'm not technically a professional artist, but I paint, uh, draw. I've done some leather work or do some leather work. Um, so I want to share one of those things with you guys as well. Among other things, photography and some other stuff. I write a little bit as well. Um, used to be a travel writer. You guys, did you know that? I think I'll include a little keychain. I've been making these um, leather keychains. I got a little stockpile here. I'm hoping to maybe turn that into something, but you'll be the first one whoever wins this little package will be the first one to have one of these speed culture leather keychains. So there you go, guys. Hope you think it's cool. I wanted to spruce up the package a little bit. I know test pipes is cool enough, but you know, get you a couple stickers, t-shirt and you know, something else that nobody else has. Hopefully we sweeten the pot a little bit. So there she is the complete package ready to go ready to be shipped out to the winner drawing march 1st 2020 good luck to everybody let's get on with your regularly scheduled program shall we guys get entered to uh, win those test pipes I think it's a pretty sweet giveaway I, I hope you guys think so too so thanks for all the engagement good luck to everybody March 1st is coming sooner than you think so uh, stick around but until then I've had a lot of you guys ask if I could do a walk around video a quick overview we'll see how quick I can make it of how the car sits right now all the modifications that I've made all the parts that I purchased and installed in the car uh, all the accessories and whatnot I'm gonna try to go through them all for you right now and um, I'll at least give you uh, the companies that I purchased them from. Um, if I don't provide links in the description, it's just a ton of work. And most of the time you can just Google the part number or, or the part name or the brand and you'll find it. Z1 intake tubes, for example. Where do you think I found them, right? Z1, just Google it. All right, I think we're gonna work from back to front and then we'll check out the inside. I'll try to do this all in one take and please excuse the car it's extremely dirty you gotta forgive me it's been raining for like two weeks straight 
and uh, it just looks awful. So, um, all right. So I guess the first thing we'll take a look at, uh, probably one of the very first things I did actually was the spoiler. Uh, it's just a, an eBay spoiler, believe it or not, um, painted to the factory paint code. I don't think the seller has these available anymore, so sorry guys, but um, I like it. Still has kind of an OEM style. It's not too aggressive, although I may go a different route uh, coming up here in the future. Um, when a, another early thing that I did was black out these uh, deck lid uh, moldings, these chrome trim pieces. Uh, I did Plasti Dip originally. Um, they faded after six, eight months or so, and um, they don't look so good. So I actually ended up, God, this car looks like crap. Uh, vinyl wrapping the bottom one. I'm a little hesitant to tackle the top one. I might do overlays, uh, but we'll see. But with all these contours and everything, uh, wrapping with vinyl is pretty tough. Uh, another thing I did early on was tint the taillights. Um, some people don't like them, but I like it a lot. Um, Infinity, for some reason, from the factory, makes the taillight lenses like a super, super red, red, red color, and I, I don't like it. It looks ugly, it looks terrible. So uh, tinting a little bit makes a big difference in my opinion. Um, the lights are still very visible, but the steps um, for VHT nightshades, which is what this is done with, uh, it's pretty intensive, but I knew that I could get a super glossy look to them, keep them kind of OEM. Uh, it is four coats of VHT nightshades, wet sanded with 1500 grit sandpaper, and then um, six coats of clear, uh, followed by 2000 grit sandpaper, and then polished and waxed. So a lot of steps, but you get a nice glossy look to them, um, and I dig it. Uh, I guess we'll move on to the eBay diffuser. Um, it's not terrible. It was pretty inexpensive. It did take a lot of work for me to get it to fit properly. I had to sand the edges down so the tape would stick. I had to heat it up and mold it. Of course, I had to prep it and paint it myself. Um, it fits pretty good now and it's adhered pretty well, but I would not recommend this diffuser, so I'm not even gonna tell you where I bought it because it's just, it's, it's more work than than it's worth, to be honest. Um, so we'll move to the exhaust. So you can see I got the uh, four inch stainless steel dual wall tips. Um, and then they move to, there's the Flowmaster resonators up to a Borla XS, uh, Pro XS dual inlet, dual outlet muffler. It's essentially a resonated X pipe. Um, does a lot to tone down the rasp because of course we have resonated test pipes installed. Uh, so that Borla muffler is not necessarily a muffler, doesn't have any chambers or anything like that, or baffles. It's just uh, basically a perforated core with a, a true crossover. Um, it's pretty substantial, so you know it gets rid of all that rasp like these uh, VQs are known for. Um, let's see. I guess we'll work to the side. Of course, we did the Chrome Delete. That's vivid vinyl, um, gloss black vinyl for the door handles and the window trim. Um, the car sits really nice. Um, you can see the front wheels are tucked in there pretty nicely and uh, it's, the car overall just kind of has a slight rake which is actually my preference. That is thanks to the Tain S-Tech Springs. Uh, one of my favorite investments actually uh, up to this point. Uh, the center of gravity now and I think the stance is perfect for this car and it handles like a dream. Um, it's about one and a quarter, just over one and a quarter inch drop overall, uh, all four corners, so it's perfect. Um, alignment is within spec, so, you know, I couldn't ask for more. It, ride quality is super good still. Um, super pleased with the springs. Um, then we can move on to the wheels. These are just the drag wheel DR53s, nothing fancy, under $1,000 for the set, um, 19 by nine and a half. Um, tires are actually I want to talk a little bit more about the wheels a uh, super lightweight cast wheel which is what I was looking for once you look, start looking at especially budget-friendly cast wheels uh, they start to get really heavy um, these are actually only 24 pounds or 24 or something uh, so 125 pounds for a 19 inch uh, cast wheel is actually pretty good um, they are wrapped in Lexani LX20s um, 255 40 
19 up front, 275, 35, 19 in the rear. Uh, as I told you early on in some of my early videos, I have a buddy in the tire biz, so I was able to try these tires out. Pretty decent for daily driving, good and cool temperatures, relatively decent in the rain. Um, fun to drive with in the mountains, actually. Uh, pretty confidence inspiring in the mountains, surprisingly, for a budget tire. However, I would say if you are doing any drag racing or racing from a dig, uh, they are weak. Even with 275s, I get absolutely no grip. Um, then we'll move on to, God, I, I don't know what I'm doing with this hand thing. I feel like, I feel like Danny Z. Uh, maybe I'll take some pops and bangs clips and videotape myself, you know, filling up the car with gas a little later. Anyway, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but seriously, moving on to the eBay three-piece gloss black splitter. Another modification I'm pretty pleased with, under a hundred bucks. This is actually the 18 and 19. A base model splitter but it does fit the 2014 and 15 pretty well probably the 2016 as well uh, fits better than the actual splitter made for this year uh, so love it do scrape a little bit now due to being lowered and then the added you know mass of the splitter brings me down a little closer to the to the road so careful um, of course blacking out the car we had to get the gloss black eyebrows eyelids whatever the hell you want to call them and then um, dark taillight tint again vivid vinyl for the amber delete i like it um i was hesitant to get the amazon gloss black splitter because not splitter sorry the grill i wanted to leave this that gunmetal gray but i'm pretty happy with it looks sick makes a big difference in the car overall uh, she's just sitting nicely dig it all right, let's uh, take a look under the hood, shall we? All right. First thing, obviously, we notice Z1 intake tubes, silicone. I like them. Uh, that leads up into AFE dry drop in filters, which I'm pleased with. Of course we have the Megan Racing strut tower brace. Not something you're gonna feel uh, right away in terms of handling for your vehicle, but um, anytime you do any road racing or autocrossing, the chassis twists quite a bit. So anything you can do to stiffen it is going to be beneficial. So it's working. You might, might not feel it, but it's working. Um, of course, you're not gonna be able to see them, but the Hotchkiss sway bars, probably one of, if not the best modification you can make for under 500 bucks. Super, super happy with the Hotchkiss sway bars, especially in combination with the Tain Aztec Springs. The car handles incredibly. Uh, it feels like a totally different beast. Um, honestly, I think that's it under the hood. Of course, you can't see the test pipes, but we have uh, top speed resonated test pipes installed currently. Uh, oh, I can't believe I forgot about these chrome valve stems and caps i like those um and of course the r1 concepts drilled and slotted rotors i've been pleased with these so far as well uh, especially paired with the power step z23 i think there's z23 sport brake pads it's a good combination we are we do have the stainless steel braided brake lines that we have to install um, that is really going to complete this package until we go big brakes of course but um you know a nice a nice quality rotor that dissipates heat and moves some of those gases and debris you know away from the pads is going to go a long way in improving your stopping performance uh, front and rear another thing i forgot to mention i got these little infinity floodlights for 13 bucks it's kind of a fun little addition uh, we'll move inside here course we got the nismo gap filler nissan motorsports or nissan what does that say motorsports international i know the car's not nismo come on leave me alone uh, but the infinity ones are kind of ugly so i went with the nismos and then probably still one of my very favorite changes additions accessories for this car is this center console organizer from again amazon like 13 dollars really keeps everything organized 
I can't complain about it one single bit. I, I love it. Um, keeps your cords organized, place for the shades, nice place for the draggy. Um, again, I love it. Um, I guess we better talk about this bad boy. If you haven't taken advantage of the deal, if it's not yet February 20th, 2020, go over to Jalisco underscore carbon fiber on Instagram and get a deal on one of these wheels, carbon fiber or otherwise, these flat bottom steering wheels for the Q50 are sick. Uh, I love the gloss black perforated leather, a little touch of carbon fiber, which is okay for me. This thing is sweet. It's been fun to drive with, actually made me kind of fall in love with the car or driving the car again. I'm so pretty pumped to uh, do a review later on on this, on this wheel. And I can't believe I was about to forget another one of my favorite mods or additions to this base model Q50 are the paddle shifters. Of course, the 2015s are pre-wired. Um, I'm sure it's most of or the 20. I don't. I don't honestly don't know what years. I think some people have looked to see if they're pre-wired, and some were and some weren't. So before you purchase the paddles, make sure you check that out. I got the paddles for like. $125 from a salvage yard here in Greenville. And of course the shroud that's made for uh, this column uh, was like $100 online. So, I mean, less than $300. You can put the paddle shifters in yourself. Pretty dope addition. I love it. Use them every day. I love controlling the RPM on the car uh, rather than driving an automatic. Um, so I, I use them every day, all day. And the steering wheel is sick um let's see really guys i feel like that's that's it oh maybe i forgot to mention the uh the uh new struts for the trunk these are huge everybody knows q50 owners the trunk tends to slam with the, the factory shocks or struts, whatever the hell you want to call them. Um, so another 15, 20 bucks on Amazon and it'll solve that problem. Oh, here's a little guy. Tinted license plate cover. Uh, it rattles. I can't stand it. I'm going to put some padding under there. Uh, of course, we shaved the emblems. I left the infinity one. No, I'm not going to take it off. I like the contrast of the silver on the black. You know, I'm all about blacked out, but I do like a little bit of contrast here and there. So I'm keeping the 3.7, I'm keeping the Infinity. I'm not doing carbon fiber uh, Infinity emblem on the front. I'm not doing the illuminated one. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, I just, I like to keep it simple and uh, I like where the car is at right now. So I think that's pretty much it guys. Uh, of course we did the um, Accutech tune at Soho Motorsports. Uh, that's been a big one too you know it's not cheap but it really helps your modifications work together i know we've talked about this a million times if you are making any changes to your car in terms of intake system or exhaust a tune is going to be beneficial you want to make sure your modifications are working properly together um, Ecutech is one that I've been very happy with and I did a full review on my last video so go ahead and check that out if you haven't had a chance already um, from what I hear Ecutech allows the tuner to more finely adjust the parameters on your car so you get a little better a little more finely adjusted tune um, Uprev is good for pops and bangs and flames and you can get some good uh, power out of that tune as well really it comes down to what the tuner is more comfortable with I think Uprev is more common with the G cars. Ecutech is the suggested software for the Q50. Uh, that's just what I've heard. Uh, I'm not an expert on tuning software, or any of that stuff, but Soho Motorsports did a great job on this Q50. I'm pleased overall. And like I said, if you do any modifications in terms of exhaust or intake, you're going to want to tune anyway. I think that's it, guys. I think that's it for all the modifications and the parts that I've purchased over the last year and a half or so for this car. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, definitely. But I will ask your opinion right here. Now, it's not a guarantee that it's going to happen, but I would like your feedback. What do you think I should do next? Trust me, some of you might think, what, what more could you possibly do? Your exhaust is done, you're tuned, you got wheels and tires and suspension, blah, blah, blah. But trust me, guys, I got plans. Some things are in the works. 
I'm excited for springtime to come. It's going to be good. But like I said, I would like your feedback. What do you think? What would you like to see? What are you curious um, in, in terms, curious about in terms of modifications uh, for the Q50? So leave those in the comment section below. Thank you guys as always for all the support. Make sure you get in on that drawing. If it is not March 1st, 2020 yet, get in that uh, 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 test pipe drawing for the VQ37 test pipes, non-resonated. I got a video just a couple of videos back. Uh, explaining that and how you get into it link in the description of that video below so thanks again for watching we'll see you in the next video